Hello, my name is Natasha, aka Musical Snail. <laughs> I don't know what that pose was. But today we are going to be talking about lacquer. Oh, that's liquor. That's liquor. No, no, not that. Lacquer. L E C A. It stands for lightweight expanded clay aggregate. And it's basically these little clay balls. And it is my absolute favorite growing medium. It has stopped me from killing so many plants. So I'm gonna talk to you about the pros of LECA. And this video is totally unscripted and is straight from my heart because I love keeping plants. It's so easy now. Um, and I was struggling with some plants more before I made my switch to LECA. So we're gonna go on with the first pro of LECA. There are no pests. Well, very little pests. I still get spider mites on some stuff like my alocasia you can't even see it because it's so bright because oh, i have a grow light my, <laughs> my alocasia amazonica but i just spray it down occasionally with neem oil but they always come back but alocasias are just like that but other than that like i do not have uh gnats those little annoying things that fly your nose i do not have any other pests like thrips mealy bugs i haven't had any other issues second pro is that it is super easy to water the plants. You can very easily see the water level. It's right there. And all you need to remember is that when it gets down low, refill it up to halfway. I rooted a cold damage Stansberry leaf that I got in the mail and it grew three pups. There's one right in there if you zoom in. Um, yeah, it grew three pups. And it like, I pull it out and there's like tons of roots just in LECA. They can last a lot longer without being watered because I mean, the plants just really take up what they need. I've noticed that some plants are thirstier than others and so, or they have a more established root system. So their water reservoir, fancy word, will go down lower or quicker. Um, but then those plants I usually just keep up higher just cause I know that they can handle the extra water. But like if I'm leaving for, I've gone like a two week, almost two week long trip and I didn't need to water any of my plants in that time and I came back and I actually gave my plants like another couple days before like starting to fill up some of the reservoirs. Okay, number three is that it is super clean for apartments and it is reusable. <laughs> you never need to throw away LECA, buy new LECA, only if you're getting more plants of course, which is desirable, but <laughs> you just need to clean it if you're maybe moving Lucka from one pot to another. You know, they go everywhere, but not like dirt. Like they'll, they'll pop out, but they're super easy to see. Pick them back up, put them right back in the container. Um, where dirt can just like, especially if you have carpets, it can just get like in there. And it's so annoying and just gross. And I don't like dirt. I don't like dirt. Fourth point I think I'm on is that you can control the exact like nutrients that your plant receives. And this always kind of felt like a guessing game to me when I was using soil because I'm like, well, how much fertilizer does the soil already have? Like, you know, are there natural fertilizers in the soil? Like, it's like when you make a new soil mixture, you have to like mix in like, there's naturals, there's unnatural, there's water soluble, there's all these other things. You can put like worm castings in there. I'm like, it just seems really confusing to me. It was too much. It was too much, um, I just ended up just guessing and I felt like I wasn't giving my plant the proper care and I didn't know like the expected outcome of me giving them fertilizer. I was like, okay, maybe this will help, you know? But with this, I <clears throat> literally know exactly how much fertilizer my plants are getting. I'm able to adjust it super easily for the plants that maybe need a little bit more to help them bloom or a little bit more to help them grow um, or just like a higher amount of nutrients compared to other plants that are a little bit more sensitive to that. So. I use three-part nutrient solution, which is super easy to mix and super easy to add in. Um, it's by General Hydroproducts. So it's three parts and I have, I add an extra fourth part and you can add in like a bunch of other additives, but this is like the basis of what you need. Um, you don't even need the fourth part. You really just need these three and your plants will be fine. Like they'll grow great. They'll grow faster and better than soil with just these three. And I've seen myself, like I have had struggling plants that I've moved over to LECA and they're now doing great. For example, <laughs> my monster Adamsonii was 
literally just like very tiny, like almost dead. Like this is one of the leaves that was struggling when it was in soil. And now it has just grown these like massive, massive leaves with like inner fenestrations. Um, and it's, I mean, it's got roots just like sticking out of the leca in the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Sticking out. There's plants that have even bigger roots that are coming out of the bottom. We have number one, Flora Micro. These are just like micronutrients that plants need. It's just like the foundation and you should add this in first. I take five milliliters, one of this, these little like veterinary things, like I don't know, I got an Amazon. You can see there's five there, fill it up to there. And then I just put it into a jug like this, like a gallon jug filled with water. And I like to use like clean, like not tap water. <laughs> because by where I live, the tap water is really bad. It's got like a bunch of extra just like particles and just, it's not like lake water. It's like more of like a, it's like well water, I think. So I like, we have like a reverse osmosis system that we use for our drinking water. And I just use that water. Um, if not, you can also just buy like spring water from the store, would probably be fine. And I know that some people do use, actually use their tap water if it is like decent tap water. And I mean, you can read into your, your city's like tap water statistics and everything online if you like Google it. But yeah, it's basically just take your water in a jug, <clears throat> add in five milliliters of this one, five milliliters of your flora grow next, and then five milliliters of your flora bloom for the final step. I even wrote right on top, one, two, and three. Um, and then, you know, put them all, you have to add them in, in that order. One, two, three. And then I take the drug, shake it up. And then I'm able to just take it and pour it right in. That's all I do to take in my plants. It's water and nutrients in one thing that you just pour in there and the plants are doing great. Like for example, this is my current favorite plant. It's the Jose Bono. <laughs> And it just, this is the newest leaf, and it's like half moon. It's so pretty. And it's coming out with a new leaf. You can see the size of this, the recent leaf. It's just taking off and left out. I'm just gonna take you around and show you my plants. Somewhere under here is a Sansevieria, right here. Crystallinum's right here with a little baby leaf coming out. A Philodendron mimei right here. This is the newest leaf coming out, still hardening off. Teneki. Ficus teneki. These are the leaves that I put out when I was in Lekka, when I first started putting in Lekka, and they're like super pretty um, compared to this leaf that has like little red spots. I think those are called the Dima, just it's because it's getting too much water, but now it's like putting out just perfect, perfect leaves uh, in Lekka once I transferred over. I transferred over like a full grown plant. Oof, I'm bright. So, my Alocasia poly back here, or Amazonica actually, I believe, putting out a new leaf. And also, I've noticed, yeah, my golden pothos has just started putting out super bright golden leaves on Lekka. And before, it was just like normal green leaves like these. Um, so now that I've given it like the right nutrients and it's just flourishing. I mean, it's like super long vines, super green. I also managed to move an adult fiddle leaf fig into Lekka as an adult. It didn't die. It dropped like one or two leaves from the bottom. And now it's putting out like super pretty, like this is the recent leaf that it put out. My, also one of my favorites is Alocasia Frydeck. And it likes the Lekka too. It's putting out beautiful giant leaves. Um, the root system was super huge and super just like, I mean, strong. <laughs> I don't know what crew was. I have a weird Queen Queenantherium up there. And I also have a giant jungle boogie back there. All on like a, on a pole too, and it's doing very well. One final point is that although these general hydroponic things can be like kind of pricey, um, they have lasted me like quite a while. I've been using it for like a couple of months now, and I've only gone down this far with having like, this many plants in Lekka. Um, and these bottles are like kind of giant, if you can see. So. It's definitely like an investment, but I feel like it's a worth it investment because I know that my plants are healthy and it lasts a long time. And the last optional step that I add into my nutrient solution is Rapid Start. And I just heard this is good for 
getting plants or root, roots, you know, just stronger, helping them get used to LECA, especially if you're like, you just got a plant in. Um, I've been using this like consistently with all my plants, uh, which probably isn't necessary. It's probably doing more harm than good, but I just, I don't know. I like feeling like my plant's roots are strong, <laughs> giving them like a little boost. Yeah, and this is the first step. This is only two milliliters overall. It's only like four things that I add in and you only really need to, you know, water your plants or fill up the nutrient solutions um, like once a month. So it's just like a once a month routine, way less stressful than keeping an eye on a tiny plant in super dry soil and just like watering every day and hoping that it soaks up some soil, which was, which is what I was doing with a lot of my plants until I actually came across um, a shout out to Hakuna La Planta. He's in Toronto. I watch all of his videos and he likes LECA as well. And I watched his um, LECA care video and I'll link that down below. He goes a little bit more in depth. Um, and this one I just really wanted to boast about LECA to you guys and to any houseplant girlies that are- oh my god, those. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to any houseplant owning people, and if you're struggling and if you feel like you're bad at taking care of your plants, um, it could be your soil because soil is just like a tricky beast to master, I think. And honestly, like, I don't even know if it's worth it to master because it's just, it's really complicated. I mean, it's a whole ecosystem. Um, and it can be too wet, too dry, too compact, you know, not enough aeration. There's all these ingredients that you gotta add in to make sure it's fluffy enough, you know, a great environment for, this, for the roots to live in. And this just simplifies it so much. And a general, um, just word of warning is if you're transferring a plant that has been living in soil its whole life into LECA, clean the roots off as much as possible from dirt. Like rinse it under water, scrub it if you can. I don't find that this really does that much harm. Like the most harm that you can do is keeping the roots full of soil and then trying to put it into LECA because they will just rot. Um, but yeah, clean the soil off as much as possible. And then even when you do put it into LECA, it will likely still rot a bit because those soil roots, you know, that it grew all these roots that were used to soil are now being put into a very wet, semi-hydroponic, that's what LECA is, um, environment. And so they're gonna not like it. And the plant needs to grow new water roots. So there is gonna be a bit of a transition time. So if your plant is suffering during that time, to, it's to be expected. Um, just know that your plants will bounce back and bounce back even better. And it will be super happy once it has established the right root system for the LECA, which is those thick, um, water loving, like water roots. Um, so I'm gonna post a picture right here. Um, this is my Philodendron biliatiae. I find it much more fun because your plant just grows quicker and I really like watching my plants grow super quick. I mean, my Adansonia is putting out a new leaf like every week. <laughs> like it just keeps putting out new leaves. So yeah. Anyway, Soji Plantaleca is my recommendation. Try it out, try it on plant. Preferably try it out on maybe a new cutting that you just got or maybe just take a plant, take a cutting of an existing plant, just snip it put in some water, get those roots growing, and then put it into Zaleka and let it be and watch it just take off because it will. And I come back to this video if it doesn't and let me know. I'll try to help. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe <laughs> if you like my plans. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, I'll see you next one. Bye.